Mark in the pit here. Today I'm camping. Uh, I'm making uh, some beer brats for dinner tonight on the uh, Acorn Junior. I'm not going to do anything special to them. These are just regular Johnsonville beer brats. I've got the acorn up to about 400 degrees and uh, I'm going to cook these until they have an internal temperature of about 160 degrees. I'm using the heat deflector because uh, the acorn's not really big enough to have separate spaces for indirect heat. Uh, and I have a habit of burning uh, brats whenever I put them on the grill. So um, with the indirect heat, I think if I just kind of bake them, uh, I don't know, for about 15 minutes, I'll reach the, a good internal temperature without scorch in the outside. Let's uh, get them on the grill. So I want to see if the, uh, the Doritos starting a fire thing works. Let's give it a shot. Got some old uh, briquette coals in there. Um, I'm going to use them just because I've got them. I'm going to put some regular uh, Royal Oak lump on top. So I've got these uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. I was going to get the extra spicy ones, but I didn't want to give it a head start. I, I'm sorry, that was stupid. Let's just drop a couple of these on there. So now that the coals are lit, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, plate setter put back in and uh, the grate put back on. The acorn's up to about 400 degrees. Uh, now, from from what I know of using this in the past, it says 400. It's probably closer to uh, 450. Uh, it's not really accurate, but you know, I'm camping. I don't care. I didn't bring a uh, thermometer set up with me, so we're just going to kind of go with it. Uh, once it heated up, I got both vents set to uh, 1 and 1. It'll hang on to this temperature for, I don't know, until the coals burn out. All right, so I've got a dry drip pan in there. Um, I've got potatoes that I started in the uh, microwave. I'm just going to sit them on there. I'm not going to wrap them or anything because they're not going on for a terribly long time. Now I'm going to put our brats on there, just right in the center. That way they can drip in that pan. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll just let it go and uh, check it every couple of minutes. So we're about 10 minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything. Starting to get some color on these. Looking pretty good. We're about 17 minutes in. I'd rather err on the side of uh, overcooking than undercooking. Uh, Cause I'm gonna take a temperature and as soon as you poke it, everything starts squirting out. So I'm gonna take the potatoes off cause I'm sure that they're done. My lovely assistant will give me something nice to sit them on. And these sausages have an awesome color on them. Just by looking at them, I would say that they're probably just about there, if not. Going high tech today. That's saying 160 on the nose. Test one more. Says we are right at 160. All right. Well, that's good enough. So the Dorito thing worked, it was okay, but I'm almost 800% sure that that was a ploy by the Doritos uh, manufacturer to try and sell more Doritos. I think it would work with literally any corn chip. I don't think the seasoning does anything for it. You can start eating. I just kind of ramble and then cut it all together. Okay, get out of here, pie. So uh, yeah, we just have a, uh, a side salad and a potato and a brat. Good old camper food. Thanks for watching. Can we go inside now? Yeah. Get out of here, pie. That's my dog. <laughs>